Hi, Carl Winkler here at Electrosonics, and in this video, I'll be showing you the D-squared system, including the DSQD digital four-channel half-rack receiver, the DBU belt pack transmitter, and the DHU handheld transmitter. The D-squared system was developed with a wide range of professional users in mind, from broadcast and theater, to TV and film production, to house of worship and touring. The exceptional rack density of this receiver means you can get eight channels in one rack space, which is double most of the other systems out there today. The audio fidelity is second to none, with flat frequency response and wide dynamic range, 24-bit 48 kilohertz digital encoding, and digital transmission. The receiver offers multiple diversity modes and backwards compatibility with our award-winning digital hybrid wireless transmitters. That's right, you can use your existing SM series, SSM, HM series, HH transmitters, WM and MM series transmitters with the DSQD, and it has both analog and Dante digital outputs. The D-squared system can of course be programmed and monitored using wireless designer software over USB or network connection. When using digital transmitters, there's three different levels of encryption available. As you can see, there's a lot going on in this system. Let's take a look at the receiver first. You'll notice that this unit has the same high resolution color display as our Duet M2T transmitter. In fact, the housing is very similar and fits in the same half rack footprint. On the front, you see the mini stereo headphone jack and retractable headphone volume knob, and the familiar menu select and back buttons are to the left of the display. Along the bottom, are the four channel selector buttons, and these are used for certain shortcuts as well, like IR sync and channel detail view. Then to the right are the up and down arrows for navigating the menus and changing values. To the right of the keypad are the USB connector and the power on off switch. Above that are the antenna bias power indicators. Around the back, you have the Dante outputs and the antenna inputs and outputs. Like our other rack receivers, the D-squared has antenna cascade outputs, so you can run multiple units from a single pair of antennas without any additional hardware. There's the four balanced analog XLR output connectors, then the serial input and output for connecting receivers to each other for data sharing. To the right is the DC power jack and the ethernet connector for control and monitoring. Okay, so now let's take a quick tour of the screens and menus. First, notice that you have a tremendous amount of detail on the home screen, showing channel activity for all four channels, including channel names, operating frequencies, RF levels with 10 seconds of history, audio levels, battery levels, and whether or not the audio outputs are muted. Upon pressing one of the channel selector buttons, now we see a detail screen for that receiver channel. Here we get a more detailed view of the same parameters we saw before, but now we can actually make changes to the operating frequency. Engage group tuning mode, select a compatibility mode, mute the audio for that channel, change the audio output level, or reset the battery timer. If using a digital hybrid mode, you can change the smart noise reduction setting. Now let's back out of there and take a look at the menus. Due to the wealth of features in the DSQD, we decided to approach the menu structure like other sophisticated devices, such as DSLRs and video cameras. So here, we see a quick access selection, where the most often used menu items are all together in one place, like manual tuning, RF scanning, group tuning, the IR sync functions, and compatibility modes. Now, back to the main menu, you can see the submenus are broken down into function areas, starting with the RF setup, like tuning, scanning, and frequency group setup. The audio menu setup includes output levels, noise reduction, compat modes, and talkback setup. The infrared sync and encryption menus let you sync your transmitters, create and send encryption keys, and choose what kind of encryption standard you plan to use. The system tools and settings include receiver power management, front panel setup, Dante module power on off, network settings, and antenna bias on off. 
There's a lot in there, and I suggest looking at the manual, which is available to download from our website, to see all the details. The two transmitters currently in the D-squared family are the DBU belt pack and the DHU handheld. These transmitters are functionally very similar to their digital hybrid cousins. If you're familiar at all with the LT transmitter and the HHA, you won't have any trouble at all navigating these new transmitters. And by the way, one way to tell the difference between the HHA and the DHU is that the HHA has a blue logo in the foot and the DHU, the logo is gray. Also of note is that the DSQD receiver can pick up channels from an M2T duet transmitter or a DCHT portable stereo digital transmitter. Okay, so what I want to do next is to set up the receiver with a couple of transmitters so you can see how easy it is to use. We'll start in the quick access menu. First, let's do a scan so we can see what is happening in the local RF environment. Note that all four receivers scan at the same time. However, you can select individual channels for scanning as well. Then, once they're done and we stop the scanning, the individual channels revert to whatever frequencies were chosen before. Next, you can zoom in to see a detailed view of the spectrum by using the arrow buttons Navigate to Zoom, then pressing Menu Select. Now, we can tune each receiver by selecting it first by pressing one of the four channel select buttons. Then, use the arrow buttons to tune the channels up or down into the area of lowest RF activity. Now, let's sync our transmitters. By backing out of the scanning screen to the home screen, we can now send the frequencies to our transmitters with a shortcut. Let's do three real quickly. Channel 3 is set up to be compatible with a digital hybrid transmitter. So let's use an SSM. We'll hold the transmitter IR port close to the receiver IR port and press and hold the channel 3 button. Since it is a hybrid transmitter, it does not have two-way IR sync and there is no handshake. However, you can see on the transmitter that the IR sync was successful. Next, let's sync a digital transmitter, the DBU belt pack unit. We'll use receiver channel 2. Again, we hold the unit close to the IR port and press and hold the channel 2 button. Since the digital transmitters have two-way IR sync, there is a handshake and we can see confirmation on the receiver. One more transmitter to sync up, the DHU digital handheld unit. We'll use receiver channel 1. Same process. Now we're back out on the home screen and we'll turn on the RF for each of our transmitters. Here we see the RF signal, the blue link indicators, the audio levels, and we are in business. Keep in mind, all these things can be done in Wireless Designer as well. For more information about the software, take a look at the two videos on our YouTube channel showing the details of wireless designer used with the Duet system. As you can see, the D-squared system includes a wide range of features and capabilities for the professional user. 24-bit, 48 kilohertz digital audio, several choices for encryption, and extremely wide tuning bandwidth are all part of this system. Not only that, but your collection of digital hybrid transmitters can still be used with this receiver. And don't forget, the DSQD receiver can pick up signals from an M2T Duet or the DCHT stereo digital transmitters. The rack density at 8 channels per rack space is even better than that for Venue and Venue 2. Finally, we put a lot of effort into the menu structure to make D-squared quick to set up and easy to use. So go check it out at your dealer. I know you'll love it. For more information about this or any Electrosonics product, please visit Electrosonics.com. I'm Carl Winkler. Thanks for watching.